We're showing how resistance of a wire changes with length. So at 10 it was 8.7, at 20 centimetres it's 6, at 30 it's 8.1, at 40 10.8, 50 about 13.3, 60 centimetres 15.8, 70 centimetres 18.4, and lastly at 80 centimetres about 20. So here's the data from the video you've just seen. You can see there's the length of the nichrome wire and there's the resistance values that I set all the way through it. Now I've already plotted that and you can see on this graph here it's just a scatter plot length along the bottom and resistance up the side and you see it's fairly linear uh, as you'd expect. Resistance is proportional to length but let's have a look at it. So we'll have a look at the trend line for this. So I'll put a trend line in there. It's a linear trend line. Let's have a look at the um, formulas for it. Okay, so display equation. So there it is there. Now you'll notice the equation is y, which is the resistance, is proportional to 24.75 times the length plus 1.1 and the R squared value is 0.99. So that means that the, the data is a very good fit for the equation and vice versa. So let's have a look at this 1.1. Now that indicates there's some systematic error. You can see this line here is not going to go back through the origin. So let's have a look at where the line would go. Now I'll just have a look at the trend line again. This time I'll go backwards. I'll go backwards 0.1 and we'll see what we get. Okay, now you can see it's 1.1 as the equation suggests. So there's the intercept on the y-axis, which is the resistance, 1.1. Now, like I said, that's systematic error. And that means that even when the length of the wire is zero, the meter is still reading 1.1 ohms. Now, it's not really a zero error. Uh, it's more to do with the in internal resistance of the uh, multimeter. And you can't avoid that. So really what you could do is subtract 1.1 from your values and uh, you get a more realistic value for the uh, real resistance of the wire itself. Okay, but that's about all now. <clears throat> that length, if you divide the resistance by the length, you can do some calculations on uh, resistivity, if you know the cross-sectional area and things like that. That's all for that.